Hello and welcome to BMZLounge.com. Today we are discussing the outputs of the plan quality management process. And four of them are very, very important. There are two which are sub plans of the project management plan that is quality management plan and the process improvement plan. And then there are quality checklists and quality metrics. So without further ado, let's get into it. So if you have forgotten where we are, where is this plan quality management in the whole scheme of things in the PGKA mapping, here's the PGKA mapping for you. So we are talking about the project quality management knowledge area. We are talking about the planning process group and there's only one process in this mapping in this matrix and that is the plan quality management. So this is what we are talking about. The outputs of this process is what we are discussing. So now just like many other processes in the planning process group, the major output of this process is also a plan and this plan is known as the quality management plan. One of the four outputs that we talked about in the previous slide, the most important of course is the quality management plan. So let's talk about it. Quality management plan. Now the quality management plan, it basically provides guidelines for managing quality on your project. The guidelines being the keyword here. So just like other sub plans of the project management plan, and if you're not aware of this, let me remind you, project management plan is basically a combination of several sub plans. Quality management plan is one of those sub plans and all these sub plans basically contain strategy they basically contain guidelines so here since we are talking about the quality management plan the strategies mentioned in this sub plan are for monitoring the project quality right now even the reasoning for all the quality related steps being taken are included in the plan so why are you taking a certain step or why are you following a certain strategy why is there a specific quality guideline for this project the reasoning for it is also mentioned in the quality management plan this way the stakeholders understand the rationale behind the metrics being used to measure the project's failure or success. So why, what are these metrics and why are they used for the question? Why are they used? You have the rationale already mentioned in the quality management plan. What are these metrics? Let's look at it in the next slide. So some of the examples of the metric are schedule variance, cost variance, defects density, performance guidelines, etc, etc. So you as a project manager can work with your project team to define metrics. Some of these, the ones that you see on the screen, these are the normal ones, the common ones, right? These are the usual suspects. Now, schedule and cost variance. Now you may think that these should rather be part of their respective knowledge area that is the schedule management knowledge area and the cost management knowledge area but these are often measured in the quality management plan and these are part of the quality management knowledge area because the measurement is typically done in the quality management knowledge area so usually a goal is defined for these metrics so for example a five percent variance in the schedule or in the cost is acceptable. If that is defined in the quality management plan, you will measure the variance of schedule and cost, and then you will make sure that it is less than 5%, less than the value agreed upon. And there could be performance related metrics as well, like 0.25% performance degrade is acceptable. Let's say, you have a software out there in the market and you are now releasing a newer version of the software that can run on older hardware as well. So a 0.25% performance degrade on the older hardware is acceptable, but not on the newer hardware, right? And not more than 0.25% as well. So these are some of the metrics that you can define with your project management team. A quick reminder before we move further, Project Management 101, this is your gateway to the world of project management, a free one and a half hour training. You can head over to pmzlounge.com 
slash pm101 very very helpful resource do check that out so we have already talked about the quality management plan now let's look into the other outputs of the plan quality management process second of them being quality checklist checklist is of course just a list of items right so how about giving a heads up to the team about common errors that projects typically face so if you are delivering a project which is similar to the other projects that your organization typically delivers you may have a list right which contains the common errors you may have a checklist that contains the common errors that these kind of projects typically face so if you can provide that to the team the team can avoid the common errors the project will automatically be spared of some of the common defects that these kind of projects face using such type of quality checklist is a good defect prevention technique as well so you are essentially preventing defects right now similarly checklists can also be used for inspecting products for their characteristics so if you are creating a product your project's product right it should have certain characteristics and this checklist can be created in association with the end customer in association with the pro project sponsor right they should be able to tell you the characteristics of the end product of the project and in the end you can check the characteristics of the product that you have built versus the characteristics that were defined and this is also a usage of a checklist process improvement plan this is also one of the outputs of the plan quality management process now this is part of the project management plan as i mentioned in the start of this video as well so it describes how the process being used during the course of the project can be changed for the better so that is what you are doing in this uh, in this output right with this output you are looking for changes that can improve the process so this involves finding inefficiencies and bottlenecks where where are you finding these inefficiencies and bottlenecks of course in the process that you are following now the best part about the process improvement plan is the fact that the project team is doing more than just building the product of course they are building the product as well but they are doing more than that and what are they doing here they are also thinking about how the company delivers all of its projects and how it can be improved because they are talking about the process here right they are not talking about the product of the project they are talking about the process that is followed to deliver the project so they are thinking about these processes and they are trying to understand what are the inefficiencies what are the bottlenecks what can be improved what can be changed for better so moving on number 4 in the list of outputs of the plan quality management process is quality metrics what is a metric now so these are the kinds of measurements you will take throughout your project to figure out its quality so these are basically measurements you are making measurements on your project to figure out the quality of the project now here's where you document how you will be figuring out the product's quality the end product's quality right how do you justify whether it is a good quality product or not you do it by metrics by making use of metrics by making these kind of measurements that are already defined so you may need to write down the formulas you will use when you will do the measurements why you are taking them and how it can be interpreted as well so all these metrics related stuff every information related to the metrics that define that uh, that is going to define the quality of your product is taken care of as part of quality metrics now let me give you an example which will help you understand this uh, topic in a better way so softwares right if you are working on delivering softwares they will typically have a defect backlog and these defect backlogs are basically tracked by the project teams using programs like jira or bugzilla or any other internal softwares as well so when you are tracking these defects right some defects are 
obviously very very critical and they have to be fixed as soon as they show up but some defects are cosmetic defects and teams carry them over they maintain a backlog and whenever they find time in the next release of the software they plan to fix them so it is a good idea to keep track of the defect backlog reduction with every software release so every time you release a software as part of the end product of your project you need to keep track of how much was your backlog reduced did it increase if it increased that's bad news right if it reduced how much did it reduce what are the formulas that you are going to use to calculate that all of that is part of quality metrics i hope the example was clear i hope you now understand how important quality metrics really is finally the last output of the plan quality management process is project document updates now you may wonder what is this so this is actually often an output of the planning processes because as you find new information in the course of planning you need to update the existing project documents so typically on your planning processes the P in the pgka mapping all the planning processes that you see you will see their typical output one of their typical outputs being project document updates and this is the reason for it because as you plan you may find new information that needs to be included in your project documents let's take an example so the stakeholder register you're already aware that stakeholder register basically lists all the stakeholders of your project now this might need to be updated if you find new stakeholders in the course of planning your quality activities as simple as that if you find a new stakeholder you will have to update the stakeholder register and that is basically what the project document updates output signifies so that's all that we had in this video do hit the like button if you learned something new if you were able to grasp the concepts of the outputs of the plan quality management process subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon also don't forget to check out the website pmclounge.com your number one free pmp resource thank you and have a nice day